All right, so this is going to be Digital Performer Basics to the Extreme. Um, so to start um, with a Mac, I think it's different than on a PC. You have to make sure that you've clicked on that application to have a top sort of menu bar to to select options inside that program. So if I accidentally, or if you if you accidentally click on the desktop, it's going to change to your uh, more like your just operating system options. So make sure in order to have uh, that bar to be able to change things that you click on the program that you're that we're using which is going to be a digital performer. Um, <clears throat> next part is this is our basic window. We've got a um, series of um, sort of different screens that you can view. Uh, sequencer, tracks and sequencer and mixer are going to be the ones that you're the three that you're going to use primarily. Um, <clears throat> So first things first, this window set I don't use very often. It doesn't give me enough information for what I like to be able to see when I'm working. So um, the little triangle over here is how you close uh, a window. So if I close that, um, or if you click on it accidentally and it closes, you just go to Windows, Window Sets, and then open the Pro Tools window set. That's the one that I like. Um, so it gives you a, a bar down here to gauge your sort of computer performance. Track groups, which is going to get important eventually. And then it defaults to sound bites. I don't ever use the, or we're not going to be using the sound bites one very uh, often. Um, you're going to go to markers. Um, so the way that the markers work, you see this little kind of like gold arrow. If you grab that and drag that in, you can drop it on top of, of a point, And then that will um, <clears throat> end up... Uh, giving you a point that you can snap the cursor to. So let me just drag in a couple more. And if I, uh, if I click, there's like a little grid here. If I click, it'll bring in a yellow point. That'll bring the cursor over top of that specific marker point so that you can jump around inside a program quickly. Um, <clears throat> a lot of Digital Performer is using keyboard shortcuts. The important ones are going to be Command S for save. Just do it, you know, just like uh, obsessively because DP crashes and you lose stuff. So so Command S for save, Command Z for undo. So if you do an action and you realize you don't want to do it, then you just hit real quick Command Z. Other cool part about digital uh, about DP, if you go to edit, undo history, we've got the entire undo history for whatever project file it is you're working on. And in, in DP, you can technically have unlimited undo, so it's you can always go back basically. Um, <clears throat> um, so, as far as the, the basic grid, now that we got that set up, I, uh, <clears throat> you've got this little box over here, this unit, and that turns on the grids. If you see, there's no, there, there's lines coming down. Those are, those are beat markers, but they're, uh, won't, like, snap to them. So this turns on a snapping function. Um, <clears throat> and you can change which grid you're looking at. So I just changed it to, uh, to 16th nodes. You can look at 8th nodes. Um, we'll eventually talk more about you know why you would want to see one thing or another. Um, <clears throat> next part is this sort of area over here. Usually it defaults to usually that's kind of closed. So if that happens, you've got this little um, box over here to expand, and that'll give you all the tracks that we have open. Um, I usually use leave the conductor track open. It gives you a spot for your cursor to uh, make its highlight point from. Um, if you want to select audio, you can you can do it that way. Um, if you're going to select something to delete it, though, I'd click directly on it. It's easy to accidentally select too much, and then I've selected the marker points. And then if I hit delete, it's going to take away the marker points and the sound. You know, just kind of make a mess of things. So, um, so Command Z will just bring everything back, and then I'll hit Command S to save. To zoom in and out, you're going to use Command and the arrow keys. That'll zoom in. Another way of doing it is just put the marker over top of the wiper and uh, swipe your fingers either direction and that'll zoom it. Um, you can also scroll by swiping your fingers to, to slide things around. You um, just have to make sure you're, you're clicked and selected in, in the main window. Um, and that is the basics at least for now.